Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video about construction. Again, I'm pretty sure you guys know my name, but if not, I am Ernie with learningconstruction.com. And on this video, I want to show you how to place rebar on a CMU wall. The reason why I made this video is because you may think that placing the rebar on inside of a CMU wall is relatively easy. And part of it it is, but not really. One of the things is when you're laying rebar, obviously your vertical dowels are going to be coming from the footing. As you can see, placing the rebar on the footing the correct way is one of the most important things that you have to do when you're placing masonry. So you always have to watch for your foundation. In most cases, if the walls are relatively small you will be building the footing as well as the wall but uh, there are several instances where there's going to be a concrete contractor that will be placing the footing for you and you will be placing the masonry wall in other words the moment you're starting to work on the foundation you also have to keep in mind where the face of the block is going to be this is the only way you're going to determine where the vertical dowels are now remember the dowels don't just go in the center um, that may be the case on some freestanding walls but it is not the case for retaining walls or restraining walls now remember that you have to keep in mind all the horizontal members are going to go in the bond beam so you're going to have a horizontal piece of rebar or two depending on the case usually it's one but it may be two and you want to you want to make sure that they're tied with the vertical rewards and as you go building up your wall don't forget that you have to place this horizontal reinforcing steel the reason why i said that is because once you have placed your wall you're committed there is no going back there's no way to put the reward back so you want to keep in mind that you're building the wall with your reinforcing steel inside of now here's another tip for you make sure that as you're placing the rebar that you're always checking on the inside of the block and making sure that the bottom of the inside of the cells is clean don't leave any type of messes with the mortar or the splashing mortar or debris on the inside of the cells inspectors don't like it and honestly that is not the right way to place rebar so you want to make sure everything is clean on the inside because remember the concrete is what's going to hold the wall together you want a good bonding with the steel you want good bonding with the foundation so it has to be pretty clean okay so the next thing is when you were placing your rebar on the foundation you were obviously not setting or you shouldn't have been setting your vertical dowels full height of the wall you, usually that doesn't happen so what you have to make sure is that your vertical dowels are long enough that you can act you can splice them if needed uh, and continue with your wall and as you're building your wall up you want to make sure that you put your splices and you, you attach the rebar uh, as tight as possible in other cases the wall changes sizes and this is very typical for retaining walls where the block starts in one size and then it becomes smaller as it's getting taller so you're going to be offsetting the rebar when you do that you obviously want to support your vertical dowels with the horizontal bars and once again you want to make sure that your cages are pretty well secured so they're not moving all over the place and if you need to put a couple dobbies on the inside of the wall to make it secure and you have the clearance that is required per your structural drawings then you should be able to do that so in short Pay attention to your rebar before you pour the foundation, after the foundation, make sure you're putting all your horizontal bars as required with all the laps that need to be required, all the verticals that required. Don't forget the lintels, uh, these are very important. Don't forget about the corners, the rebar uh, that is vertical and all the corners is typically two of them or it's a bigger size. And just pay special attention to the uh, structural drawings. And that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you guys like it. And uh, don't forget to comment in the box below or visit my website, learningconstruction.com. Thank you.